three things really that I focus on. The first is teaching users of evidence how to spot the good from the bad. Uh, the second is research on, on health research itself. So how good is the research that we're all doing uh, and, how, and does it matter? And the third one is I've got an interest in exercise and exercise with medicine and how does this work in terms of treating long-term health conditions? Mm, good question. Um, well, basically the work that we do will impact on you, the decisions you and your loved ones will be making at some point in your life because it's all about health and soon. I would actually use that money to pay researchers to do less research with better research. Uh, last book I read was The Undoing Project by Michael Lewis. Ooh, uh, probably the anticipation of the conversations that I'm going to have. Well, actually, I think it's any time you make a decision around your healthcare or around healthcare decisions. Ask yourself, why did I make that decision? The three most important objects on my desk are a pen, paper, and my mug. Okay, so in terms of evidence-based medicine, I think it's the recognition that it needs to be taught to medical trainees uh, as much as the skill of taking a blood pressure. Inquisitive, playful, skeptical, nerd, ninja. I think I'm most excited about the fact that the new methods that we have available to us to ensure that we've got better research for the right reasons, that's better communicated and better understood by the people that we use. That none of the stuff I just mentioned happens for other reasons, for example, for politics or some other city stuff. So one of my ambitions is to help shape the future of better research for the right reasons. Uh, I see you from work, my family, including my dogs, um, as well as I'm into uh, a martial art called Capoeira, which pretty much takes up all my time, it's almost like a second job. Me. Too many ideas and not enough time. Uh, by hooking up with like-minded folk to make some of these things actually happen. I actually want to change the incentives that make it harder for me to achieve my ambition of better research. Uh, the people that I work with, the ideas that we come up with, and also building on, the, on, on what we've done before. I think most practitioners do incorporate EBM into the work, even if they don't know it. But I think it's good for them to remind themselves sometimes by simply asking the question, why did I make that decision? But it's the tinkering from other sources, I think, that will hinder or help that process. So the sense is really important because of this. We've never had so much information available to us at our fingertips as we do now. Ensuring that information is trustworthy is really, really important. And that's exactly the remit of the CBA through our research and our educational work.